Hello viewers, this is Just Fragment Walk TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and all the news in details. Mahasub renews vow for Biafra struggle. The movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Mahasub, has vowed not to relent in its struggle for the actualization and restoration of the independent state of Biafra. The organization was founded on September 13, 1999. Leaders of Masop, Uche Namadu, who said the group was using its 21st anniversary to reflect on the plight of Biafrans, vowed that members would never retreat nor surrender in their quest for an independent Biafran state. He described the last 21 years as a long walk of freedom for self-determination from the oppressive Nigerian government. We have been persecuted, arrested, killed, imprisoned, and traumatized by aggressive agents of federal government of Nigeria, we shall never retreat nor surrender. Masab will continue to remember and honor our fallen heroes who willingly lay down their precious lives for the love of Biafra. Our members are still languishing in Nigerian prisons at Aqua and Onicha. Some are still in the mortuary or in Onicha hospital. Our lives are dedicated to the cause of Biafra nationalization. We have no future in Nigeria because this geographical expression called Nigerians was designed by the Christian British colonial masters to enslave the people of Christian Biafra forever and favor the Muslim Arewa people. The group said it supported the proposed waterways bill sponsored by the President Muhammad Buhari led government and encourages that the National Assembly should pass it into law without much deliberation, Masop supports every government policy, actions, and movements that will eventually break Nigeria and a forced marriage with unknown partners. Masop advised President Muhammad Buhari and his Fulani Hekne Kabas not to shaken out of cowardice. They should never relent in securing all the waterways in Nigeria for the establishment and resettling of wandering Fulani ethnic tribe from other West African countries. Meanwhile, the indigenous people of Biafra Hypope has warned that the continuous killing and arrest of its members by security agencies could lead to the disintegration of the country. Spokesperson for the group, Hima Powerful, in a statement in Oweri, Imo State yesterday called on Russia, Germany, Australia, Israel, France, and Canada to prevail on the federal government to stop the onslaught on perceived Biafrans, warning the trend, if not brought to an end, could break up the nation. They must prevail on Nigerian government to release our people abducted illegally and also release those bodies they took away during the barbaric attack on peaceful and unarmed citizens of Biafra in the Mene Enugun state. Nigerian government and our partners in crime must understand that the incessant killings of Biafrans and their murderous tendencies against the peaceful and innocent citizens of Biafra will soon break Nigeria into pieces without remedy. Powerful, however, boasted that a group can never be decimated despite its various travails in the hands of their transgressors. In case they are forgotten, hypo is a global movement divinely ordained to liberate Biafra and another tribe cage in this British contraception called Nigeria. Our resolve to restore Biafra freedom and independence is of God Almighty, Chuku Okiki Ob Abiyama, in every a tax that must be accomplished very soon. Just last week at Ohafia in Abia State, they adopted Maxi Okewu Akwa from his home and many other, including Samuel Arue Eme, Kalu Iroha, David Agwa, and two, 12 others whose names are yet to be established as at the time of, the, of this press statement. The group blamed what it described as the ignoble roles of the Southeast governors and some Igbo political helite, as well as the Hohanese in Igbo to the prosecution of High Pope. According to Powerful, their actions could be likened to an Igbo proverb when you kill your hero in, in, in internal squabble during external fights, you must remember him. Wow, so viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take about this news? The fact is that the rate at which Nigerian governments are dealing with the BFRs is not good at all. 
Look at what is going on in Enugu State. It is not a good feeling at all. How can the federal government could just come up, the police, and start tagging the Biafrans as a terrorist? This is not a good feeling. Look at what we just heard right now. You know, they were saying that some, another thing, another issue happened too in Abia or Hafia that they actually abducted Maxi Okewu and the rest of them and 12 other people. This is not a good thing at all. Why would the federal government, why, why, why are they being selfish? Why are they dealing with the Biafrans like this? These people have suffered long ago and they have suffered enough. Look at the Biafran war. Look at the lives of precious, look at the precious life that died on the run. And now, are they expecting such thing to happen again? Nobody wants that. And that is the reason why Biafrans are praying that they should, they should be set free and just go their own way. It is as simple as ABC. This, all, all the struggle, we are praying that this struggle will finally be over as soon as possible by the grace of God. And they should not relent in this struggle for the actualization and restorations of the independent state of Biafra. They should not so relent. Thank God, they, thank God the Biafrans, they have a good leader. They have a consistent leader, a very bold leader, a strong leader that can take them to their destination. The way at which these people, the federal government, are dealing with the Biafrans is not good feelings at all. You can imagine federal government tagging uh, Biafrans that they are terrorists. What would they say with uh, the Boko Haram people? If they are tagging Biafran terrorists, what name can they call the Boko Haram people? It is just so unfortunate that the people that the federal government are looking eyes into are the people that are not harmful at all. The people that are harmful, they cannot even ne go near them. What a country that we have in Nigeria. All I can say as regards the, the people of Biafran is that they should keep on agitating for what they want to get. They should not relent at all. Trust me. In so many ways, we in, in, in so many ways we can count that uh, the federal government has been cheating the Hugo people right from the onset, and still they are still doing the same thing. Again and again, and these people are saying that they cannot condone all this thing anymore. They cannot accept all this all this cheating anymore. That they want to go on their separate separate ways, which is as simple as anything. It is not only the Biafrans that want to go on their separate, separate ways. Other people too, other tribes in Nigeria are tired of all the things that is going on in the country. Even the Yorubas. They are tired. So look at the way the rate at which the, the Muslims in the north are killing the Christians. Nobody wants to want to stay there anymore. And this is to tell you that very soon, very soon, if care is not taken, if our president does not even take things into seriousness, Nigeria will soon divide. With the way things are going on right now. But may God help us. All we are praying for is that Nigeria should not divide. But a lot of things is going on wrong in Nigeria. So guys, what do you think? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. We appreciate you for always being there for us. We thank you for watching our video at all time. Thank you. Have a lovely day. God bless you. Bye.